YouTube, D4G here, banging out another video. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's First Impression Friday. I got two new fragrances here today. Now, y'all really enjoyed the Baccarat fragrances, so today we're going to be hitting y'all with Baccarat Rouge 540 from Essencia de Flores. And then the second fragrance we're going to be bringing y'all is going to be Baccarat 540 the extract version, and this is going to be from Fragrance World. Before we do that, shout out to all the new subs out there, man. If you're new, welcome. Over here on this side of YouTube, we like to make sure that you're looking good, smelling good, and feeling good through the art of fragrance. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell notification so that you can be updated anytime we drop this content. And to all them OG subscribers out there, man, them A1s since day ones, Ah, salute fam. Hope everything is good with you. Let's go with the Essence de Flores first. Now, I gotta say, when I first ordered this one, I thought that it was gonna be the Fragrance World Edition. But it wasn't. Damn, I hate this bottle. <laughs> All right, bro, I hate this bottle, man. Look at how fat this hoe is, bro. This hoe fat, it's not as cut up. Big difference in the one from Fragrance World. Y'all see. Gotta spray it up a couple of times. I can say this, in the opening of that one, it wasn't as harsh as when I did Fragrance World Edition. It was not as harsh. So that's a plus right there, because the Fragrance World Edition was a little, a little harsh, man, in the opening. Now when you put it on strip, you do start to pick up a little bit more of the syntheticness, but in the air, you really don't get too much of it. And in the opening, it has the literally the same Baccarat DNA. Like, I'm thinking in this one, this one smells a little bit more citrus heavy up top, more citrus forward. But other than that, it really does smell like the same damn Baccarat. Like, it doesn't smell like much of a difference outside of that opening citrus note. With a little bit of synthetic feeling going, we're going to sit that one to the side and let it dry down real quick. We'll see what is going on, but let's check out this Extract de Parfum Edition. Now, this is a bottle. Look at the difference, fam. This is the Fragrance World Edition. Look how detailed it is, how cut the top is. The corners, look at how round this shit is, all flat, just chubby looking, unappealing. Now the X-ray version, I'm very eager to see how this one is gonna come off compared to the original version. That should, that should be enough. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, when you get the X-ray version, go ahead and spray it up. Cause when I sprayed it just now, I was getting like a cardboard smell that came out of it. So with it being an X-ray, it's supposed to be more highly concentrated, but it's still, it's not MFK. So ain't no telling what they might have used. Now let's see what we picking up from the X-ray. All right, now this one has more of a synthetic feel to it. Okay, this one has more of a synthetic feel going as well. I don't know, bro. That I don't know about that one, man. Hold up, dog. I'm gonna have to get. I'm, I'm getting. I'm grabbing another strip spray it and see what it's going to do because one of the things i'm noticing i'm getting the same baccarat dna but i'm thinking that the x-ray is going to be like more clean i'm thinking that the x-ray is going to be more dense the x-ray version smells extremely light in comparisons to Essencia de flores it even smells lighter than ana abadaya Rose. all right this one i'm having to spend some time when i could be tripping but the fragrance world x-ray version this one i am really going to have to spend time on because with the other one, Essencia de Flores, you get Baccarat right out the gate. This one, I'm picking up some Baccarat, but it's so, the Baccarat DNA is so faint in this one, you're not really gonna pick it up off top. Honestly, maybe this one might require a few more sprays, but right now, I'm not getting much from the 540 X-Ray. Now I'm going back to the De Flores, Essencia de Flores, we're gonna see what that one's doing. Now the Essencia de Flores, that one's nice, man, that one's nice. After a while, that bergamot opening dials back down, and it truly then switches into that full-blown Baccarat DNA. But in the opening, you do get a little bit more of a bergamot citrus up top in the opening, in the first five minutes, really. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice one, man. I'm going to be doing a versus battle soon with these. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm getting. But yeah, fam, that X-Trade, I don't know, man. We gonna, I'm, a, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm just going to have to dive into the X-Trade a little bit. First impression, the x ray is not coming off how I was thinking that the x ray was going to come off. The Essencia de Flores is coming off definitely like the winner of the bunch, and it is coming off as a much more heavy hitter than what I was getting from Ana Abadaya Rogue. 
But I'll be doing a deep dive into that later so y'all will be able to get a true comparison of both of them. Hey man, winner winner chicken fucking dinner, man. Again, Essencia de Flores, first impression. That was a green bean. Fragrance World, x ray 540. Let me spend some time with it and then I'll drop a review in the upcoming week or two. That way then y'all can really see what that one's gonna be entailing. But right now, the Essencia de Flores is an automatic green bean. But with all that being said, we about to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of it, fam. D4G, truly blessed. That's the full greatness. Yeah.